Hey Aries, I'm here to do your general and love reading for the end of June. So it's going to be June 15th through the last day of June. <laughs> so let's see what's going on. So I'm going to be mixing them both together. I'm not going to separate them. Okay, so I'm going to do the mix of both. It's going to be general and love. Okay. Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please take note that this is general. Okay? It may or may not resonate with you. If you want more of a legit, accurate reading, make sure that you hit me up for a private reading. Everything is down below in the description box. All right. Fair Universe, what's going on with my Aries for the end of June? Love and general. Okay, Aries, let's see what's going on. You got the Ace of Cups. Okay, offer of love, probably from a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. And then we have ooh, two reversals. So this is the Knight of Swords reversed and the Six of Wands reversed. Okay, so definitely dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or an Aquarius, Libra, Capricorn. I mean, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Maybe even Capricorn since it just flew out of my goddamn mouth. <laughs> but I'm just saying. So with the, um, the Knight of Swords reversed, okay, someone is holding back saying what they need to say. Okay, maybe you or this person is holding back saying what they need to say to you. And maybe regarding love, but you do have a love offer coming in, and they're oh okay. So maybe they're too sh they're going to be really shy to express how they feel about you because I don't know. Maybe you intimidate them. All areas imitate or intimidate a lot of people, so it's like, you know. And then yeah, with the the six of wands reverse, it's like definitely very intimidating. Um, or maybe you're this person's holding back or you're holding back saying what you feel because you know or maybe you don't want to say you know what it's all good it doesn't matter if you didn't succeed in this I still love you I will support you no matter what maybe this person um, had a false victory or whatever and um, they didn't want to tell you or they just you know you don't want to hurt their feelings by saying certain things so Maybe certain things are just being held back because of false victories and whatever that is. And you're trying to comfort them with love and comfort and sex and all that yummy stuff. But it's like, no matter what, you still love this person or this person still loves you. Okay. And the overall energy on this is the three of swords reverse. So it could be getting out of heartache. Okay. Getting out of the energy of, of having heartache and stuff like that. So maybe, like I said... Aquarius Libra Gemini um, was recovering from heartache because they didn't succeed in something that they really worked hard on or something that they wanted to do. Maybe getting you or getting this person or getting stability within a relationship and it just didn't go their way and you're comforting them or they're comforting you. Could be either or. Okay. And then we have the, again, Five of Wands. Look at that. Five of Wands reversed and they're both reversed. So false victory maybe someone fell to get you or you fell to get them uh you lost your chance with them because you've seen the upright how there's two partners here and someone's spying someone missed out on a relationship because it's reverse someone missed out someone gave up someone walked out as well maybe they just you know gave up on the whole situation they want to offer love 
but they're afraid to speak their mind. They're afraid to say it, or you're afraid to say it, okay? Could go either way. Oh my God, I'm getting itchies because my fan is like right here. And so we have the, the Ten of Cups reverse. So yeah, someone is feeling like very upset very emotional unfulfilling someone's not yeah someone got their heart broken because they missed out on an opportunity with this person or you missed out with this person okay you lost your chance or someone else is in the picture and you're not happy about it or you wish you were with this person and it just not it's not happening so okay and then with the four of pentacles here it's like they want stability with you or you want stability with them and um, also it could be Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo as well. So maybe Sun, Moon, Rising, okay? Um, and it's just not happening. Maybe you guys were in a relationship and they liked how it was when you guys were together. You liked how it was when you guys were together. Having memories. It was good. Sex was good. Sex was really fucking good. It was hot, steamy. And it's like you wish you can be with this person but there was somebody else. And you're feeling very upset about it. Very depressed maybe spying okay maybe they're spying on you you're spying on them and like i said it, there's a false victory here uh, you didn't win this person over because of the five of wands reversed twice okay this is twice confirmation okay didn't win you over or whatever but there's definitely still love here they still have love for you you still have love for them okay so let's see <clears throat> Ace of Fire, <clears throat> definitely your energy. Four of Earth again, see, it came out again, Four of Earth. And the Upright, just like the other one, so let's see. Someone wants another chance, they want to get back into the relationship. The Sun card, okay, there will be reconciliation. And the two of fire okay so let's see the first two the ace of fire okay wanting another opportunity in the relationship and love getting a new sense of energy okay coming to your senses your intuition is is constantly telling you this person you still love this person this there's still love there okay you can feel it in your heart and your soul they can also feel it too this is an exciting new opportunity career advancement change your life now so also, this could also mean that you are taking a chance in your career as well. You're going after what you really want. You're not going to hold back. There's going to be an opportunity in that as well and in love, okay, because this is career, this is love, this is general and love too. So it's like, it's a mix, okay? I'm not separating on this, the end of this month. And then with the four, four of earth, okay, you have the four of chalice, the four of pentacles here too, so that it's double, okay? You had two doubles in this reading. So it says, being, being too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving to those less fortunate. So, and money, this could mean that you've got your, your money straight, you've been really focusing on your, your coins, your pentacles, your business, uh, trying to advance in certain things. So trying to distract yourself with money, with work, creative things, okay? Maybe you're too little too cautious with it. That's why you're saving up, maybe it's just sitting on your money because you're afraid certain things might happen and you're in that constant fear where you're like, I'm not gonna have enough for this or I better save up, I better invest. And then also this could be um, you're, the, you're stable enough to give to those who are less fortunate, maybe to friends and family. Um, if you have roommates, you're able to pay off whatever you need to pay off. Or if you owe money, you're you know repaying and everything as well. 
And then in love, it means that you are, you're wishing to get that stability back, that relationship, that, um, how do I say it? That union back again because you guys were once stable in this relationship and you're wishing that you guys had that back again. Maybe both of you guys were stable in money as well and you guys were doing really great together as well. And then, you know, and then, um, where am I? Okay. And then we have the two of fire with the sun. Okay. So the two of fire. Definitely a lot of fire and, and pinnacle energy here. So it says, you've come into your own. New partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So maybe you're, you're signing contracts, okay? There's going to be an opportunity for you to sign a contract. Uh, signing things to start to take something long-term, uh, a business to a next level, maybe expanding your business, okay? Maybe you are the like the main person in the business who runs shit, you know? I'm surprised the emperor didn't come out. So, and then um, you're moving forward. You're, you're working together with people, partnerships, okay? And then we have the sun card. It says, happy outcome. Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So definitely, like I said, you, you're coming into your own. You have a new opportunity to, to expand it, to move forward. There's going to be a happy outcome. You're going to be stable and, and career. And like I said, someone from your past is coming back. Okay? Or you missed out on an opportunity with this other person. It could be another another Aries, Leo, or Sag, or a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Okay? Also, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And a possibility that it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So maybe all signs. So um, definitely that someone, like I said, someone is feeling very upset because maybe they lost a person or they wish to have them back. But I'm seeing that they might come back or you might make the approach or grow some balls or some titties or whatever to grab this person back. <laughs> do what you can and give them back into your life, you know. Fucking just do it. So, yeah, that's what I'm seeing for you. I'm going to pull an Lover's Oracle. or Yeah, Lover's Oracle right here. My little heart-shaped ones. I love these. They're so amazeballs. Give me a message for Aries, please, for the end of June. End of June, please. Wow, my beloved, oh, da, 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 da. you guys still have a lot of passion and emotion for this person. I'm definitely feeling like it's another fire sign too. So if it's another fire sign, two fire signs put together, it's like, oh, okay, fireworks, 4th of July, whatever. Maybe you guys will meet or get together or start talking again during the 4th of July. You never know. So my beloved. Though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. <gasps> yes. For love transcends, transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. Definitely. You could have a, this could be a twin flame that you're dealing with, you know? Twin flame. Two twins, two fires, two fire signs. That's... Fuck, that's twin flame right there. Wow. Definitely you guys are apart. You're always thinking about each other. You have this spiritual connection. You probably constantly thinking about this person. This person left a mark on you. They, You left a mark on them. So it's like you're always in their heart. And you guys are wishing you could be together. But there's a lot of going on. I'm definitely seeing either one of you or both of you are really dedicated to whatever you guys are doing money wise career wise um creative wise you guys are just like constantly thinking about each other though but look at that oh, oh gorgeous gorgeous okay aries this was your um june 15 and the and on for the rest of the june so <laughs> i will see you guys next month